Good morning, everybody. It's time for our maths meeting. I love maths. We all love maths. Let's think about what day it is today. <sighs> well, it's the middle of the week, so it's not Monday or Tuesday. It's not Thursday or Friday. In the middle is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, and let's look at our wheel, and you'll see that in the yellow section, Today is Wednesday because yesterday was Tuesday and tomorrow is going to be Thursday. What numeral have we got today? I wonder if it's going to be one digit or two digits. Let's have a look. It's two digits. It's the number. It's the number that comes after 16. 17. And in this two digit numeral, the one stands for 10. And the seven, hmm, can you remember what color tile in Numicon a seven is? Did you say pink? A bit like the color of my cardigan today. You're absolutely right. It is the pink seven. Let's look at 17 again. The one stands for. 110. The 7 stands for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. So that is what 17 is made of a 10 and a 7 put together, added together, you could say. Now, what shape have we got? Okay. Can anybody tell me what that shape is? Well done if you said it was a square. And squares are 2D shapes. They're flat shapes. We see them all over the place. What are they made of? How do we know that's a square, not a rectangle or a triangle? Well, a square has four straight sides and they are always all the same length. It also has, well, let's just have a look. We'll count them. One, two, three, four. It also has four vertices. Those are those corners, the points where two sides meet. So it's got four vertices. And we're going to count those. One, two, three, four. So where would we see a square in everyday life? Let's have a think. I found a few. I found a square on my light switch. I saw presents with each side of those boxes has a square shape. Ah, Lego, lots of square Lego tiles. An alarm clock, a square shaped alarm clock. Piece of toast piece of toast where all the sides are the same length and our last square is oh yum yum squares of chocolate can you see squares have been divided into even smaller squares so lots of squares there hmm oh show you that again how many green dots did you say that many? You're right, there were six of them. What comes next? 10 frame, just one today. Do you want to count the purple dots with me? One, two, three, four. Oh, just four today. So four purple dots. And how many empty squares? Because together the dots and the squares are going to add up to 10. Because it's a 10 frame. So let's have a look. One, two, three, four. Four purple dots. One, two, three, four, five, six empty squares. We know that four add six equals 10. Okay, quick look at what those squares could be numbered. 
Ready? I'm going to cover them over with purple dots apart from one yellow. And I'm going to ask you, what number is behind the yellow dot? Okay. Do you think you can work that out? Okay, I'm going to show you it's number 10. Well done if you managed to work that out. Now we're on to odd one out. We've got a cat and a hat and a dog and a rat and a man playing a game of cricket and a doormat. I wonder whether you can think of one of those that might be an odd one out compared to the others. Have a look. So we've got cat. Did you come to the conclusion that the dog is an odd one out? Because I did. We've got a cat, a hat, a rat, a man with a bat, and a doormat. I think all those rhyme. But dog doesn't rhyme with mat or cat or hat. So the dog could be the odd one out. But there might be other things that you could choose. The hat, that's the only blue object in that collection of pictures. So the hat, the blue hat could be the odd one out. Hmm. I'm going to leave you thinking about that and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye for now.